In this video, you'll see how to use the Elms Terms feature and how you can actually create glossaries across your course material. So first, let's turn it on. I'm going to go to Version Settings, then Manage ID Toolkit. Make sure you turn on Elms Terms, which gives you the glossary and the associated terms to your content. Now let's go to a piece of material. I'm going to select this text, and then we're going to click on Add Term to Glossary which looks like a little book. You'll see the term is presented here, and then you want to write the definition. Click Save. You'll now be taken back to the page that you were on, and the text that you selected is now a link. Clicking this link will pop open the glossary, which will show you the term and then give you the definition that you provided. You can also then click on Glossary under Course Resources and see what all the terms are that are being used in the course. An interesting twist to Elm's terms is that now any page that has that information on it will now show up in the glossary as being a glossary item. You'll notice I didn't actually go to Lesson 1 and highlight this Ipsum text, but yet it still realized that it was in the glossary and presents it automatically. This way you only have to define something once to have it implemented and show up and remind the user or the student what it is they're interested in, you know, potentially learning more about.